everyone welcome to today's tutorial so i'm going to help you solve uh, question two from your assignment which you recently submitted okay so the the question says uh, let a be equal to this b be equal to that and then c be equal to that and the universal set b the set of real numbers find the set a complement in b the section c and then display it on the real line okay so if you want you can start by displaying it on the real line and then um you you after displaying it on the real line then you find your answer or you start first by finding the answer and then displaying it on the real line so uh a complement if in this question we are requested to find a complement and then if this is our a meaning our a complement is anything that is not in this set and then if this is our b if this is our b we have to find the union set between b and a complement so the union set to just be okay so what we can do to find a a complement we found it to be this so a complement we say this coming from negative infinity ending up to negative 2 and then uh, b we said oh, sorry a complement still writing a complement then union starting from 3 up to positive infinity like that so if we want to unite this with b the answer is supposed to be this is going to be a complement uh, union b so this will give you uh, when you find the union set between a complement and b meaning you are going to combine a complement and b which implies that you are going to start from negative infinity which is our smallest number and then up to negative 2 and then you say union from negative 1 up to positive infinity so this is your a union b so now we intersect we intersect this set with c we know to say our c is just uh, a set of numbers or a set of integers from negative 2 uh, from negative 2 up to 15 from negative 2 up to 15 so from there what we can do is we find the intersection set between c and this set so the intersection set so meaning our a uh, complement union b intersection c will now be equal to we find the common elements between this set and that set and of course the on the the only common elements that we're going to have will be uh, we don't have negative 2 in this set that one you should know so negative 2 not be part of the common elements it will not be part of the answer so the common elements we have in this is just uh, um, is we don't we also don't have negative 1 there so if we don't have negative 1 then the common elements we only have is 0 meaning we start from 0 right one two three four so you write all the numbers in between here up to 15 so these are the common elements that we have so this is the solution for the first part of the question there and then let's move on to the next part of the question which says given that uh, x is 
uh, x is I think this symbol means subset x is a subset of y and x is also a subset of z display on the Venn diagram the set uh, I forgot something they said we should write the answer on the on the real line so we can do this we can represent this on the real line as follows so I'll just be writing important numbers but for you when you're answering since you're using a pen which is a little bit fast when it comes to writing you have to show everything so meaning you're going to have um what do you say? our answer uh, our answer was uh, our answer started from zero up to 15 so if you want you can just show the final answer but if you want you can also show uh, a union b so our a union b was our a union b was uh, from negative it's unfortunate that I even deleted this okay it came if I can remember well it was from negative infinity up to negative 2 and then negative 2 was open because it wasn't part of the set and then union negative 1 negative one was not part of the set up to infinity so this was our a complement union b a complement union b so we also have to show c so C was starting from negative 2. So C uh, was from negative 2. Negative 2 was part of C. And then up to 15. So I'll write my 15 somewhere there. So negative 2 was part of C, so meaning we shade that part, though this is this is only valid for intervals. 15 was also part of that. So if this is our C, so meaning the intersection set is simply just from We have zero there, then we have one it goes up to fifteen. So meaning our intersection say to just start from where? From uh, this number since our C here is a set of integers, meaning we start from zero. It is the intersection say to just be this part. This is the intersection set. So showing this on the number lines depends with the marker and with how your lecture wants it to be. Yeah, it is shown in different ways. Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, question. So x is a subset of y. So and so they are saying x. X is a subset of y. So this is our x, and then this is a y. And x is also a subset of z. X is also a subset of z. Display on the Venn diagram the set x complement intersection y intersection z. So x complement x complement so if we were to find x complement 
So x complement intersection y intersection z will simply just be so we can simplify this. So you know to say x complement intersection y intersection z can also be written as x union y complement and then complement outside and then intersection z so we know to say this y complement is just simply z so why when you say y complement if this is our venn diagram if we say y complement so y complement will simply just be z so if y complement is going to give us z then we're going to have something like this x union z then complement intersection z so when you look at this um, we can open the comp the what is the this th these brackets with a complement. So meaning we're going to have x complement intersection z complement, and then we say intersection z. Then we can distribute out the z there. So we'll have something like this x complement intersection z and then in brackets intersection z complement intersection z and then once you do this you can not you can just agree with me to say z complement intersection z is simply just a new set which is um, an empty set so that part only gives us an empty set so we're going to have our x complement intersection z intersection empty set so this set intersection and empty set the the intersection between any set with an empty set is an empty set so the final answer gives us an empty set So the final answer gives us an empty set. So you just you just present in your Venn diagram, you put an empty set as your solution. So this is how I can answer it myself. Because this was not clearly specified whether uh, this X, Y, and Z are all in one uh, set. Meaning uh, are all in one Venn diagram. It wasn't specified clearly. So it uh, might be answered differently by different people. Okay. It wasn't so the your question wasn't so clear. So let's quickly move on to the next question. So this question says given that C intersection D is an empty set, simplify the following as much as possible. C intersection D is an empty set. So we have C union D here. Then we have C inter union D there. So we say C union D in brackets. And then intersection, uh, we're going to have C intersection D complement. So C intersection D, we've been given to say this is an empty set. <coughs> so if it's an empty set, simply means that here we have an empty set. So we're just going to have C union D intersection empty set complement so empty set complement is just the same as uh, the universal set so C union D C union D intersection universal set so this will simply give us C union D so this one has been simplified as much as possible.
to finish simplifying this one you can simplify it further than this all right thank you very much for watching today's tutorial if you have not yet subscribed to the channel kindly do so so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting see you in the next tutorial video my name is hampton shalom shalom